You're going to want to know how to protect floors when you're on a shoot so it doesn't cost you $1,200 when someone accidentally scratches the floor. This only costs $12. Check it out. Give me the opportunity to mentor you and your business. Go to thuslenlens.com and sign up for our free business coaching call. We're going to teach you the daily routine for success. So get over to thuslenlens.com and sign up today. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slide Lens, we're going to show you ways you can protect floors when you go into a client's house to shoot. It's a psychological advantage for you to roll out paper, to put booties on, and do all those things that are going to make your client feel like, oh, they're going to take care of me. They feel more comfortable the minute you walk in. They feel more comfortable with you invading their space, and your day's going to go a lot better. So let's take a look at some of them. First off, I'm going to use some kind of craft paper. You can get this at Home Depot in the painting area. It's just a simple, thin paper. They use it to roll out on the floor. You take blue tape and you tape it down so you'll be able to use it there. It's easy to tear and to put into place, but it's not super thick. If you're going to be at a house for several days and you're going to be hauling heavy equipment into the house, you really should put down RAM board. Some owners will insist upon it. RAM board is just simply a heavy cardboard, much heavier than the paper, much heavier than the paper. There's also a product called layout board that is even much heavier than this. And some productions when they're going to be in the house for a long time will put layout board all through the house so the floors are protected. The last thing you want is to finish your production and have scratches on the floor. Uh, sometimes you want to put this up even onto the wall, the light paper, if you've got an area where people are going to be brushing up against. Using the blue tape, though, you've got to be a little bit careful. We put it on some hardwood floors, on some steps at a place you're at. When we pulled the blue tape up, it pulled all the, ta all the paint off from the uh, floors, right along where we uh, taped it. Which is one of the reasons that my favorite thing is just to give the whole crew booties and expect them to put them on when they're in the house and take them off when they leave the house. Uh, this is the easiest way as far as being able to get set up quickly because the problem with these two products is that it takes you a long time to lay them out and to get them into place. So at the beginning of the day you got somebody laying paper and taping and so you got all that work to do to before you can start and get into the house and then at the end of the day you got to pull all that paper up and, and you've got to dispose of it and by the way when you pull this paper up don't wad it into a big bundle because it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Roll it back up even if you're going to throw it away. Roll it back up, it stores much quicker, it rolls up quicker and when you haul it away it's a lot easier to dispose of it. So I prefer these but sometimes you should put a, a piece of tape with a sign on it that says put your booties on and so the crew actually has to hit the sign in, the fa in their face as they walk in so to remind them to put their booties on. Now you can always use the tried and true, the old faithful standby and that is furniture blankets. On our truck we have a whole pile of furniture blankets so we can lay these down on the floor. If we're going to quickly put a camera in a corner that we don't have RAM board or paper down, we'll uh, simply put a furniture pad there, put our camera on it, we can do it, go to work quickly and then we can pull it up and move on to the next place. We use paper all the time when we're on a green screen or a cove. If it's all painted and clean and pristine, then we're going to lay paper out everywhere that we're going to walk until we get everything set up and then we'll pull the paper when it comes time to shoot. You'd use the booties in that situation all the time. When you're out on that white set, say, okay, you can get on the white set if you got your booties on. You can get on the green screen as long as you got your booties on. The other thing I do with talent when they walk out on a set on a green screen or a white cove to be able to protect the floors is I simply take a damp rag and I wash their shoes before they walk out there and make sure they're very clean. So there's several products I would use if I was going to protect floors or protect the house when I'm going into someone's house. I put these things down in my own home when we go to shoot to make sure that it's protected. If I'm going to have mud and things going on, I want to lay some of these things down to protect the high traffic areas. So some tips on keeping your floor safe or keeping your client's floor safe, which is even more important. So keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. April is officially backup month here at the Slam Lens. We want everyone to back up their data and to help you, we're going to give away two six terabyte LaCie drives. One for your prime, one for your backup. So go to thesledandlens.com where you can sign up to win those two drives. Don't forget to subscribe to the Slam Lens. We're hanging out here. We're waiting for you to subscribe. Quick, subscribe. I can't do this all day. You've got to subscribe. Quick. We're almost there.